You are talking about the nonsensical ravings of a lunatic mind. Yes, that is very true, but we're going to go ahead and do this lecture anyways. So, uh, let's start with the header duplex where we left off in class. You can watch the little tutorial um, putting it all together. That doesn't include all my scribblings, but let's go through this. So we do know that the header duplex is the spot of recombination, right? Where there was a strand invasion, and whether it crossed over or not, we still have this header duplex that we have to deal with. Okay, so take a look. There's our header duplex region. They're showing us um, in one that did cross over, where we have blue and red together, right? This is the header duplex region, right? Showing this right here. And so if they're two different alleles, it's likely that there's some mismatched base pairs in here. If we pretend like there's a A in the red allele, that may be a C in the blue allele. What does that mean? We do not get hydrogen bonding. No hydrogen bonds, no base pairing, right? It's a little open spot. We can't do a base pair between those. We can't leave those in our chromosomes, and we don't. So you can't have one strand being allele capital T and the other strand being allele little t. Both strands have to either be the gene for the sorry the allele for big T or the allele for little t. Both are the gene for being tall or short or size or height or whatever it happens to be if we're thinking about a plant. So we have to fix those. We can't just leave them mismatched because then how on earth could we do transcription and translation, which we're talking about now. Okay, even if there's not crossing over, right? This one went back, didn't cross the blue chunk onto the red, and but there's still this little header duplex region. There's still this C and this A that are not base paired, no hydrogen bond. Guess I could write bond up here for you guys. Thank you very much, yes, yes. And so we have to deal with this, okay? That's the point of the last steps of recombination. We have to make sure this whole thing is the same, right? This whole guy, either, either this has to be blue, both strands, or this has to be red, both strands. One allele or the other, not both. So, when we fix the heteroduplex, if we fix it, right, if we replace the base pairs to match what the original chromosome's allele looked like, well, we just fix it. If it's fixed to what the other allele looks like, we call it a gene conversion. Okay, so let's just go through it, ignore these words. The mismatches, that's like A, C, T, G, whatever's not, not base paired, no hydrogen bond. Uh-oh, not the O. If there's a gene conversion, that's when you can screw up this 2-to-2 two two segregation. We expect after crossing over to have, right, if this was our original uh, chromosomes, draw the other guy up here, and we have a crossing over event, right, cross-cross, and now we have peanut butter in our chocolate and chocolate in our peanut butter. This region here is still going to be heteroduplex, okay? So if the... Oh, let me change the colors. I'm such a big doofus. Here, let's make these guys red. Okay, red, red. Uh, oops, let me make this a little more green. Oh, ah, help me! Somebody! Ah! Okay. We still have to deal with this. What is this? This. Okay, so if we switch this one to being red, 
And now let's talk about a third allele in here because there's got to be another gene somewhere. And I always use M. I don't know why. We'll make this capital. That was originally capital M, right? Little M. Actually, whoa, help me. I can actually make that. No, oh, I could gravy people. Ugh, won't go away. This is ridiculous. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Not going to redo it. Don't have time. If we fix this area here to look like big M, it's not a gene conversion because that's what it was originally. If we fix this to being a little m, it's not a gene conversion because that's what it was originally. So let's do it. We're going to change that one. We're DNA repairing. Ooh, it's green. All the base pairs of the capital M allele for, I don't even know what, mumps, mumpy, bumpy, mumbly, for mumbling. How about that? Little m, what if we, and it doesn't have to be reciprocal. So just because we do that, what if this got fixed, the, the mumbling allele also? That is a gene conversion, right? Because now this stupid, we're supposed to have two and two. We're supposed to have two big Bs, two, or sorry, two big Ms, two little Ms. What do we have? Three big Ms and one little M. Oh, we don't get that. Now it's three to one. We could have easily also fix this one to little m, right? And we'd be back to two to two. But they'd, right? We wouldn't be able to tell that something happened. Oh, but, oh, what if we fix that one to little m also? Uh, not a gene conversion down here, but a gene conversion up here, but still now we're back to that three to one. So it messes up what you'd expect. That's a gene conversion. Genes can convert whether it's a crossover or not. So you can have crossing over and gene conversion. You can have no crossing over with a gene conversion. You can have no crossing over with no gene conversion. You can have crossing over with no gene conversion. All those possible things. So this is just showing us, just like in the little other tutorial, right, how this happens, looking at a few of the base pairs just so you can see them. And we can see right here, oops, we can see right here, hmm, that's kind of cool, um, right, right here, G's do not match with T's, A's do not match with C's, this is the heteroduplex. Okay, that needs to be fixed. You can see these alleles are different. Same gene, different alleles. Detached earlobes, attached earlobes, something like that. Well, we just had a little guest walk into my office. I am Frau Brucher. Welcome, Frau Brucher. will ask us if we'd like some Ovaltine later. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. Well, guys, I'm just looking at this, and I get why it's confusing. Ugh, another thing that I hate about textbooks. Okay, I'm going to walk through it. I probably didn't even notice this last time in the other tutorial, because I don't remember getting all angst about it, but now I am. Okay, so we need to fix by DNA repair, right, fix or change the mismatch. Get rid of the one that doesn't match, the non-hydrogen uh, bonding guys, and make it happen. Okay, so here we see, right, that we took out the mismatch and that we need to replace it with something that does match, something that does hydrogen bond. The problem that I'm irritated about is on this side over here, we fixed this one back to the A allele, or back to red, but they didn't color it that way. So I'm going to try to color it for you guys. Okay, right there. So the little end stays switched, but the middle part is now red. Okay, and then this one was is the, in the same way. They fixed, they used the red allele as the template, and they change the base pairing to be red. 
And so that's how we get this skewed, oops, this skewed, right, three to one. So we would call this, yes, gene conversion. Okay, so I helped fix that. We're just going to do a little smiley face up there because, you know, why not? And then if we look over on this side, we removed these guys. We fixed to the other strand, right over here. We fixed to red. Here we fixed to blue. Again, let me be irritated. And so really we would make this part right around here blue. And this one we actually fixed to red. Okay. And so even though we did here have a gene conversion, right, because we fixed to blue and it was originally red, this one we fixed to red and it was originally blue, but because we did a reciprocal, this we'd never be able to tell, right? We still have two big A's and two little A's. It's just the mix of what's going on in the genes between that. So at least that um, with the colors should help a little bit, I hope. Okay, so here's my little example in the same uh, vein as that. Hopefully it's not as confusing. Alive. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I, I guess so. So what I'm showing is if this was what we had the setup, right, we see that there's no crossing over here, right? Big A, big B, big A, big B, big A, <laughs> big A, little A, little B, little A, little B, right? But we have this header duplex. We have to deal with the header duplex. So then this is a blow up of the header duplexes sequence. And I'm just showing we have one mismatch. Right, this one guy right there. Boink. Mismatch right there. And we're calling that E. Gene E is in the middle of A and B. So on the other strand, right, here we have that mismatch. There's no hydrogen bond there. It's a little bubble thing. Okay. And so if we switch this guy back to the capital E, right? Fix this one, change that A to a G. Now this is just like the red allele. There's no gene conversion. Because that's how it was at the beginning, right? There's the parental. What about this one? If we use, um, again, the, the red as the template and fix this one, now we have red. Look, there's a little piece of red amongst this blue. Yes, we have a gene conversion because its original parental was a little e. So both of these are a gene conversion. So here we have that same kind of setup and we're using this guy just like we did in the other page and I'm saying Here's the header duplex you need to fix. Here's what this A strand looks like. Here's what this one looks like. I want you to make one of these into a gene conversion and one of these not. Okay, so uh, originally, I guess, what did we have on the other page? The red was big E and the blue was little E. Whoops. I guess I could have drawn that in blue. That would have been nice. There, little e, and this is what the parental looks like. So if it's a gene conversion, it, you'd have to fix this to red. This is what the parental like. If it's a gene conversion, you'd have to fix it to blue. If it's not a gene conversion, this one has to go to red. If it's not a gene conversion, this one has to go to blue. So here's the setup. This one, this one, you pick. Make one a gene conversion and one not and please label them, and then all you have to do is upload that to the little Recombination 2 homework, and you get some points, and our special guest, Frau, would like to leave you with, you know, just one, one parting note. Dr. Careful, Brandy, before we talk. No. Thank you. Some warm milk? Uh-huh. No, 
Thank you very much. No thanks. Oh, Martin. Nothing. Thank you.